Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Last Minute Continue cast with myself, John Turbo Finley, back again for the month of October here on Last Minute Continue's uh, website and also on iTunes or wherever you're listening from this uh, from, as such. Um, this month, I am here with two new people from the LMC crew who are here to give their kind of like insights in uh, this past month's uh, entertainments and various other minty bubs I, I just made up a word I, I don't know where that came from but uh, <laughs> uh over here uh we have the one and only phil vija sims good evening ladies and gentlemen and uh the other side of me is the other john of uh, the lmc crew or the first john i don't know it's like it, it depends on who came first it's like the chicken and the egg kind of my thing it's shadow fox ahoy, ahoy. i think i will be john number two for today you are the leader and host yeah. who, who and can boast the most the, more, the older and more mature one probably i think probably yes to one of those things <laughs> <laughs> mature not so much um so yeah uh with um uh, ourselves uh, coming uh, ending on the month of October the spooky month Ooh. it's like uh, it's like uh, what was it uh, oh who's that uh, um, developer who's uh, got that meme going it's like it's, <laughs> I can't remember her name uh, she's I, like I... she's like the most treasured uh, developer in the in uh, gaming right now uh, I think no I think her last name's Nakamura. Actually, that one has skipped by me apparently. <laughs> uh, but no, it's like I right, like saying it like like that. That that would be quite me. But uh, no, um, for the month of October, normally um, we would start uh, our podcast with uh, what we've seen in the cinema and whatnot. More, more case, I, what I've seen in the cinema. However, this month, I've never actually had a chance to actually go to the theater and watch anything because I I was broke most of it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, so some of the th- films I was going to go and see, if I, had, if I did have the chance to go and see them, was that of uh, the new Joker film, which I've been hearing so much about and um, how, you know, it's it's gotten so much kind of like back and forth of like um saying oh it's a classic and blah 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 blah, blah. uh but eh, i mean in hindsight now i think i think it just over it's overhyped itself i and think put me off a bit something so i heard somewhere was that basically news outlets and media were trying to hype it up as another controversy like watch out for the people who are going to watch this movie they're going to be all bad people and it turns out that the movie is really actually i think i think one of the statistics was no one was shot in new york the entire weekend that joker came out it was like the exact opposite (laughs) oh my god well i mean it's i think it's marketing made it out to be something more than what it actually was because it it, because it went to the uh, award shows first i think and it ge- generated a lot of hype there, but then when it's come to the regular reviewers, I, I will admit I've not seen it, and I pro- we probably shouldn't be talking about a movie that none of us have seen. Yeah. <laughs> but from what I have seen and what I've heard of it, it's not what it's hyped to be, but it is entertaining. I've had the plot synopsis explained to me, and I've kind of sat there gone. That's a little stupid. Um, I've watched one I don't, podcast. I don't want to spoil it to anyone that does want to go and watch it, um, but it seems to have been a rather decisive film in whether it is good or not. Yeah, I think it's only fair fair to say that. I mean, I, I've only just been hearing all the kind of like stupid things of uh, new stories of uh, parents uh, up in arms uh, saying, "Oh, this film involving clowns is the... it, it's like the it situation all over again." It's yeah. like, oh, this movie that has clowns in it is not meant, meant for kids." Of course it's not meant for kids, you dumb nuts. I, I hate to say it, but crown, clowns are creepy. Why, why why do parents think clowns are a nice thing? I'm very because much parents in... are dumb. Certain, certain clowns I... are nice, but <laughs> it, it's the Yeah, I, I... Turning the good into the bad that people 
mm. people make movies about <laughs> or stories about. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. But uh, the only uh, the only other film that I was kind of like wanting to go see that I haven't seen yet, and uh, yeah, I actually actually do if it's still in theaters in the next week or so, I might, I might talk about this for next month's uh, 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 last minute continue cast. Uh, being out of uh, the Adams family, the new uh, animated. Oh, is that, uh, that, that, reboot. oh yeah, of course, it would, of course it would now, be yeah. out now, wouldn't it? Because it's <laughs> Halloween. Oh, well, it's perfect timing, <laughs> yeah. of course. But Phil, you were saying? Uh, I can't remember what I was thinking, but <laughs> <laughs> I kind of lost my trail of thoughts. But yeah, um, third iteration, or is it third or fourth iteration of the Adams Family as a uh, franchise? In terms now? of like, in ter- in terms of a media franchise, this is probably its third oh, i would say it, it, well, actually no second no no fourth actually because fourth, you had a because it started as a comic actually yeah, yeah. all right it started off in the comic then it turned into a live action yes uh, tv a... series hmm. then it turned into an animation tv series uh i think two iterations of that i think uh, how um, close were they to the live action because i think one of them was well just think well just think of monsters oh. uh the monsters and uh, oh god i love the just, monsters. i love that yeah, it's like just put put the Adams family into the you know as the premise mm. as such, and of course uh, I don't know which one came first, the Adams and family uh, or the monsters I, in terms of like its origin. I think I, but, I, this uh, is one of those things I've looked at before, and I want to say I think it was the monsters. I think, but I'm not going to say hold me to that. But you might be right. Because, you know, I mean, they're fairly close. It's like the premises is there. It's just monsters is obviously, it's um, it's a hor- oh. horror-themed uh, family uh, that, uh, you know, that is living everyday American family value kind of like life. Mm. Whilst the Adams family is uh, a creepy uh, family that does oddball stuff. That's outside of the norm. It's, it's one. It's so one. It's... it's one normal family acting weird and one weird family acting normal. They're polar opposites of each other, but they but they both work so, so I've, well. I've done. I've done a quick Google on this because I might as well. I've got the yeah. computer here. Um, yeah. The Adams Family and the Monsters TV shows started in the same week in September of 1964. Oh, what what channels? Um, uh, Oh god, it's an American channel. Um, but yeah, uh, the Adams family was aired first, and then six days later, the monsters came out. That is really quinkadink. Yeah. Um, Adams... for, for reference' sake, this is from the Telegraph, so take I'm, with a grain of salt. I'm, I'm saying so. A- ABC was the Adams family, while CBS was the uh, monsters. Mm. So. I, w- I, think, I wouldn't uh, back be surprised then they were having... if it was one TV show or one channel decided to develop something and then the other channel saw it and went, oh, that's a good idea. Let's do our own. Someone, someone heard a pitch in an elevator or maybe they took a pitch to one studio that went to another studio and yeah. it went... All that, that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Which is why... It only, begs a qu- well, it only begs the question, what was conceived first? Because obviously the Anne's family was in a com- comic book strip first. Mm. Oh. Um, yeah. And what was it? The monsters. I don't know if that that was only originally for the TV so- series, or if there was something previous to that series. I don't know. But anyway, regardless, um, <laughs> we're going on sidetrack. Uh, but no, the new movie. Uh, I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've been intrigued to see how that goes because I don't know if it, I'm sure they've modernized it to you know bring it up to today's. You know, kind of like a climate of, uh, um, you know, like society. I've seen, seen. Know, millennium, millennium society and whatnot. So the trailers seem to definitely, certainly focus more on a Wensley Adams storyline, which I mean, she was always it, she was always one of the major. Like they were all major characters, but I think Wensley. Oh, well, so well, what was it? Her, her, she was focused a lot more in the sequel to the '90s uh, film, which was uh, Adam Family Values. I remember her story arc in that one very vividly, because that was that was the kind of hard she, to forget. That was that the one where they went to camp? 
Okay, yes, 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 then yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very vivid that one, uh, and funny as you, well. You can do, you can do uh, a lot with a little girl who's a little odd. <laughs> well, I, I think the first film probably it worked to establish the characters, and then the second film they thought, all right, well, we've established the main adult characters. Now let's do something with the children a bit, because I think they were a bit of a sideshow in the first film. I I believe so too, and it's like I I don't remember uh, Wednesday and Pugsley uh, being that prominent in the first film, but they were definitely more so in the second. So, but um, uh, in this new animation uh, thing, I don't know who's doing the animation for it. I I'm going to say it's Illumination. It looks very not, Illuminationy. Yeah, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Because uh, I can't, I can't mind who's producing it, and I can't remember who's animating it. Um, but the the animation style makes it look like it's illumination. I'm looking now yeah. to find out. Universal Pictures. Oh, so it won't be illumination then. Well, no, doesn't Universal. Universal normally release under? Universal normally releases uh, illumination stuff. Uh. I kind of mind, actually. Huh. But, uh, but no, I, I I hope to, you know, get a chance to watch that as well, because I've been looking at the trailers, and, you know, it, it would have been the perfect time of doing it this month, but might have to wait until the spooky uh, month a of November. while longer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's only been there. It's only been in theaters for, for, you know, the last week or so, so I'm sure it's got another week or two left. Yeah. In the theaters before oh, it comes and out, and it's already a sequel is scheduled to be released on October twenty second, twenty twenty one. So, <laughs> yay! So apparently, it well. it's already done well. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's done well. I mean, you get so many movies to say, oh, we've greenlit uh, a sequel already. I mean, look at Detective Pikachu that announced that it was getting a sequel to that immediately just after. Um, it was released into theaters, and granted, it's it's Pokemon. It's a big franchise and it's whatnot. Huge. But uh, they do that a lot yeah. with animation shows as well. Like often, animation shows when they announce season two, they've already been working on it. They they they've been commissioned for two seasons. They just get to they yeah. just get to re hype up the show by game by saying, guess what? They've booked another one. Oh, was- yeah, they just basically they just basically after production of the film, they just look at the uh, the animation budget and go. Yeah, I think we've got enough for a sequel. Yeah. Okay. So well, well, they well, just go right into. Well, so, it. so apparently, the Adams the movie budget forty million dollars, box office eighty four million dollars so far. So it's already doubled. So it's already doubled. It's already yeah, doubled. that's that's a bit of a no brainer then. Yeah, <laughs> no, makes sense. You know what, Adams family oh, still well, expect. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, expect to see the sequel there. But obviously, I'll see how it all goes when I go see it eventually whenever that may be who knows don't know when that'll be but anyway uh what about you guys uh any of you guys seen anything at all or was contemplating and seeing something in the theaters i mean i can i i, I, I kind of forgot anything was coming out this month i've been uh <laughs> i sort of had like a week of almost solid work and just kind of forgot about simple earthly pleasures such as watching things <laughs> i will admit a uh, bit of a guilty pleasure, but uh, I've not seen it yet. But I want to see the new Terminator film. Oh, oh yeah, Dark Fate. Uh, I know it's going to be terrible because they're continuing along the downward slope of the bell curve, so they're continuing to just get worse. <laughs> uh, but I just enjoy the concept of Terminator films, so I will go out and see it. So I am perpetuating the continuation of more bad sequels. You know what? I have not watched the Terminator film past two. Really? And I've you did watched. the right thing. Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> I know I did the right thing because all the shit that I keep hearing from uh, the other ones is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I, I don't know. I think I just live in hope that they're going to do a good one. And, oh, you're you're and, like a Highlander fan then. <laughs> oh like... God, no, 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 no! I've only ever seen the first Highlander, and I know not to watch any more. You've done, yeah. That's yeah. the way to do it. That's what I've been told. So I will, <laughs> yeah. I will, I will, I will be happy in my ignorance, and enjoy what it is. <laughs> and then, speaking of sequels, 
There's also Zombieland Double Tap oh, yeah. coming out, which I don't know is in the UK yet. Uh, I think I'm in. Th- I think it's in theaters now. All right, but uh, which kind of, from what I hear, is an unnecessary sequel. Um, if they are a Disney fan, there's Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Oh yeah. And uh, also, Will Smith is back again in Gemini Man, where he's cloned. Uh, I've been seeing the, the the adverts for that on YouTube. So, all so apparently, so, Gemini yeah. Man was a movie that was um, kept in uh, production hell for about two decades. Oh wow! I think Sylvester Stallone was meant to play it at one point. Oh wow! So that's a kind of indication of that movie and how long it's been there the que- so the question is it's been in development for 20 years how good is it yeah who had the commitment <laughs> to put in 20 years on and off probably of their lives to get gemini man made uh, i mean if we go by gaming standards know, but... we've got a few c- cases to go by <laughs> on what mm. yeah <laughs> and speak and what a segue there we go <laughs> go thank you very much john uh because we're gonna go straight into gaming i think uh, right now because uh, mm. we've all movied out uh, with all the stuff that we've not seen um in terms of games um for this month i've been i've actually been playing quite a bit actually um now granted there was uh, three titles uh, that's uh, for for those who obviously follow me on my social medias and whatnot at TurboXLR. Uh, you can uh, you've probably seen me post uh, a couple of uh, Instagram photos of me scratching off panels off of off of a poster and whatnot. And uh, there's been three games on that uh, poster that I just recently scratched off because I put in a bit like an hour or two hours into uh, to give them a shot. Uh, those three being that of uh, Minecraft. Uh, Rocket League and PUBG and frankly I don't care for any of them no <laughs> it's like basically I just gave them a try and I just scratched them off the list uh, to just say at least I've played them because those like but all f- those three games they're not games that you're supposed to kind of like complete you know in a certain time period and whatnot no they're they're like forever games so I didn't want to put my foreverness into that because I've got Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I don't need I don't need anything forever uh, to keep me going or whatever. The, the question uh, will be: Is did you play Minecraft vanilla or modded? Uh, but, well, basically, I played I played all three of the of these games on the Xbox One. Okay, and uh, I just. Like for Minecraft, I just went into a survival game, went into it, just wandered around for about an hour or so, and I just wasn't feeling it. It's, yeah, it, it's, fair enough. It's, it's, Minecraft is one of those ones. Where if if you have a goal in because there is no real goal. I mean, you can there there is like a end point, getting to the end, getting to all that stuff. But it's like I often find like if you put mods into Minecraft, I can sink days into that like i can go into thorncraft and become a mage or make some massive machinery out of um advanced no immersive engineering but the vanilla base game it's there's there's not enough complexity in there for me sometimes it's nice just to sit down and like smack a block but other times it's not yeah i mean it's it, it, it it gets boring over and over just mining stuff and it's like how can anyone put, find any solace in that i i have no it, idea it, it is the creative aspect of building something after you've spent years mining all the stuff to build something. and that's the problem i'm not a creative person i just want to go out and have an adventure like a, a structured adventure like i grew up in the era of level by level to level progression aka the platformer Ah, I've, so maybe I've been you would like, Maybe you would like the Minecraft story mode. Oh god. <laughs> that's not that's now playable on Netflix. That that is not uh something that I would invent. Well, first off, it's Telltale. Second of all, and I've yeah. played their games. And second of all, 
frankly, there's not really much of a lore in Minecraft to invest no. in personally myself in my opinion I mean, when, when that game was um, first announced i i thought i thought of, i get the benefit of the doubt like minecraft is a game for creating things they're creating a universe within the minecraft world fair enough and then i watched a let's play of it and decided nah <laughs> i've got better things to do with my life yeah mm. but especially if you you're putting in how many episodes was the first season like eight episodes was it? Uh. I don't know. Yeah, it's like eight episodes, I think, instead of like the typical five that was yeah, part you, of a season. Yeah, I I only mentioned it. I've never played it, and I never oh, intend on playing wow, it. Wow, there were eight episodes. No wonder. <laughs> That's no. A, at least they can say they have generated a lot of content to keep the kids happy because mm -hmm. it's mostly for kids. Yeah, it is. Um, and of course, uh, what was it? Rocket League. It's football with cars. I was instantly going to hate it, regardless. What, what, like... You don't like Rocket League? Rocket League is awesome! Oh, is it now? Yes, it is. I played Lucario Ball. That's the closest I've gotten to Rocket League. <laughs> mm. no, okay. Yeah, I mean... I, of... I'm sorry, Phil, but... Um, when you put football into gaming, it instantly is a turn-off for me. Uh, fa fair enough. I mean, if you've got a stronger version to football... I, mean, I I also have a strong aversion to football, but I just there was something about Rocket League that just hit me right, and I really do enjoy playing it. I say not having played it in probably six months. Uh, at least that's only six months. Uh, if it was like six years, fair enough. <laughs> it's like uh, I don't, you know, I don't you, think it's you been around no, six nothing years. To, yeah. Well, well, I mean, I guess uh, it's 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 like simple football with cars with RC cars. It's the yeah. If, if you if you want a light, if you don't like, if you don't enjoy proper football, but you kind of enjoy football and a football light experience. <laughs> mm. But if you're completely adverse to football, yeah. then obviously. I mean, it, it it is a stupid kind of like uh, game, but uh, in term, I, I say stupid. It's more more of like a fun stupid, you know, kind of yeah. like thing where it's mm. just like ridiculous arcade style gaming and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I. But. Um, for the, for 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 myself and whatnot, it's just not my cup of tea. Like, um, it's like ugh, I just can't find any kind of like fun in it. And of course, the last one being that of uh, PUBG, um, which is probably the closest you'll ever get get me to playing Fortnite without playing Fortnite. I th I, th and I think we need to set up some sort of forfeit thing at some stage, oh, which forces you to play Fortnite. That would be evil. I would well, I would join you for that. Uh, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this much. It's like uh, if I ever lose in another ra let's race uh, for LMC and whatnot, then yeah, fair enough. The, pu the, 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 the punishment is to play Fortnite. <laughs> he will yeah, not go for willingly in Fortnite, that. Night, but but he will but, go aggressively. But granted, <laughs> but granted, PUBG is the closest you'll get me to play Fortnite at the moment. And I, funnily enough, PUBG is the is the one that. I put the most hours in uh, with those three games. I actually spent two hours on that one. Ooh, my <laughs> because God! I kept, wow. Because I kept on dying so <laughs> early in the games. I, I, Trust me, it's like, uh, that is not a beginner-friendly oh, game. No. Um, I honestly still refuse to play it, because it's, it's still not complete yet, is it? And it still costs, what, 40-odd quid? Uh, well, it's well, it's four year old quid. Well, I, I think it's like twenty five quid or something like okay. that. Um, in certain certain aspects, if you're buying like a digital version or something. But um, yeah, the um, the game still has like certain features in beta and stuff like it, that. It's pretty much exactly and, how Daisy but the, went. But the yeah, but uh, the thing with um, how I played all these three games is I was able to get uh, uh, Xbox Game Pass oh. for free. Ooh. For uh, a while, uh, for like six months or whatever, so it gave me the opportunity to buy, you know, to download some of these games. And lo and behold, three games that was on my uh, to-do list, uh, poster list of like the top, one, uh, you know, the one hundred games I need to play. Before you, before you move well, on no, to no, the next hundred list. <laughs> well, if, <laughs> if unless someone gets me another poster that has a different list and whatnot, mm. but. It, um, but at least it doesn't say before you die, thankfully, yeah, because frankly, I could have just easily just said, well, just off me off now. <laughs> but um, uh, you didn't waste any money then. So, 
No, I yeah. haven't. Well, I that's the that's the major thing. I if if I was buying these three games separately, I would have would have been out of pocket by like I don't know, like fifty quid, possibly. Mm. For forty or fifty quid, roughly. And, and that, for something, and for us, three games that you've only played for less than four hours yeah, in total. Yeah, that's not a. Um, that's not good value for money. No, no it wouldn't. <laughs> but being that I got, I played them for free. Yep. Nothing, nothing bad on that. But the the major game that I was playing this pa- uh, this past month uh, that came out mid month or whatever, and I've been really enjoying it, and I really. Uh, really having uh, a good amount of fun with it mm. uh and it's totally eating up my time at at, at moments because i just feel like uh, it's uh, it's ridiculous um and it, it incorporates uh, my new lifestyle of like keeping myself fit and whatever and it's a uh, nintendo's new uh, ring fit adventure the game hula hoop. oh wait 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 what somebody bought that <laughs> <laughs> oh trust trust me people have been buying this and people have been intrigued by people it. People who own oh, is it, is it, it actually. Is and, this like and like, I'll, I'll tell Wii you. I'll tell you this board. much. Yeah, I. Right, I'll tell. I. Right, here's the thing. It's nothing like the Wii Fit board. Ooh. See, the Wii Fit board was just something that you just put on the floor and you stepped on and whatever, yeah. whatever, and you did game songs like this Ring Fit thing. This actually makes you use your muscles a lot more. Mm. Like uh, I've got, I've got it here, obviously. Um, Obviously, you can't see this because this is an audio. <laughs> the wonders uh, of audio the... podcast. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> just, but, uh, just imagine him holding a ring with two well, controllers Greg, in it. Well, go onto Google, type in Ring Fit Adventure, and you'll see the controller. You'll see the, the, the ring con, as they call it, where you put uh, one of the Joy-Cons into uh, a slot in this ring uh, that has... A, uh, basically, you can like stretch it, push into it and it's got a lot of uh, it's like one of these kind of like resistance bands as such whatever mm. uh that's just sh- shaped like a ring and uh yeah it's like uh, this is you this is like the primary uh primary kind of like controller for the gameplay essentially uh the other one being the other half of the joy con being used in a leg strap so you have like a, a strap that you uh, like a, a little pocket thing that uh, you wrap around your leg and then you slide the other half of the Joy-Con into and that detects your kind of like uh, uh, movement speed for because in, in the the main game for uh, Ring Fit Adventure is this kind of like RPG you know world to world kind of like uh, kind of like uh, adventure essentially and uh, the way to progress through the different levels or stages or whatever uh, you have to run and to run, you obviously have to move your legs. So, and even though it's like it's only strapped to your one leg, uh, it encourages you to obviously run on both legs. Obviously, you know, just like running. In I place, feel like it'd probably be easier wherever. to run with both legs and try and attempt to kind of hop on or like lift up one leg. Yeah, ah, you can say it's just just like lifting your leg up and down. You know, it's like uh, you know while you're standing on your other leg and whatnot. That's that's not gonna do anything, or whatever. Or well, it would do things, but. I don't in overall performance. It's just gonna make sh- uh, make uh, one leg more bulkier than the other, I suppose. I don't know. But, it's uh, still, it still sounds like a some sort of torture device to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's well, it could be a, it could be torture depending on how how high high the difficulty you put it at, because uh, it does ask you questions before setting it up, and you know how, how much in terms of fitness do you do, whatever, and how old are you, and that. And I'll set the difficulty accordingly. And then after a certain p- period, if you feel like you uh, it's become too hard, you can lower the difficulty down. Uh, right. Or if you if it's too easy, you can raise the difficulty up. Um, and uh, I've been what was it? Uh, roughly around the t- m- low twenties mm-hmm. in terms of data because it's like up, it's on a numbered scale. And I think uh, the highest one I think you could put it up is twenty six. And so I'm roughly about like 20, 21, 23, Why 26? roughly around that. So it's, uh, and, uh, it basically the higher the number, the more reps you do in the, in the, um, kind of like action stages, because when you, uh, during these kind of like, uh, levels where you're just running through the, um, uh, the level as such, you'll obviously use, use the joy con to help, uh, you know, collect uh, items while you're running, 
uh, as well as uh, destroying debris on the on the path because it's just a linear path and whatnot. But uh, on that linear path are enemies, and you'll bump into enemies and you go into a battle mode, and it goes into a turn-based uh, like RPG essentially. And uh, you choose your and you use these kind of like uh, fitness techniques um, as your attacks to defeat these enemies, and they have like different things like squats. Um, like uh, knee crunches, uh, like a uh, certain kind of like, uh, you know, uh, aerobic kind of like uh, move movements and stuff like that. Um, it, it it varies and it each one kind of like works different parts of the body and stuff like that. And depending on your difficulty, it'll uh, it'll set the the amount of reps you do in that kind of like movement. So say for example. You set, you set, uh, you want to use squats and whatnot, and you have the difficulty set to, you know, at where I am at, it's like at 21 or whatever. You'll be doing at least like 25 reps of, uh, of that maneuver. But if you were playing it on something like a lot lower, like say a five or, or six difficulty level, you'd probably only be doing like maybe five or seven, uh, reps in that certain kind of like. Uh, feel. Uh, so it, it has a lot of flexibility for people who, you know, of uh, various kind of like um, uh, fitness levels to it. But overall, I've just been incorporating that uh, with, um, you know, with after uh, succeeding so much with DDPY and whatnot, I, I've actually legitimately replaced <laughs> DDPY with Ring Fit uh, Adventure because I've been having so much fun because it is a fun uh, kind of like, uh, you know, it's like uh, RP light RPG uh, kind of like game. Video games make exercise uh, more entertaining. But it incorporates a, a good fitness regime to it, yeah. Well, now that's a smart way of going about it, really. <laughs> just, just make it engaging. Like, instead of, instead of running on a treadmill for 30 minutes just with music on, why not be doing something? It's like playing a game. It's like, like you're working towards things in real life and in your game. Well, oh, yeah, definitely. What I take away from this is you must be, t if you're 23, you must be pretty buff already. Uh, well, I've, well. I mean, what was it? I was working on DDPY mm. like uh, two years prior to this. So yeah, well, I wouldn't say I'm buff, but I'm like, yeah, you know, quite. Well, I, I'm, I'm not. Tr I'm not even trim either. I'm just healthy. That's <laughs> the that's the key thing. It's like um, now anyone's listening the, to this and then goes on and says, "Well, I'm not 23. I mustn't be healthy." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, well, no, I, I that's. Ah, yeah, and that's the difficulty level, not my actual mm. age. Uh, it's like it made it sound like I'm, it, that's my age, but um, no, it's um, it, how with me being at like, and I was just saying, it only said to that difficulty level based on the fact that I only said it during the questionnaire and whatnot. It's All like right. I exercise, I exercise some of the time, mm. so they thought, oh well, if you're at this age at this weight, then you must be this. Oh. Yeah, you you should be at this level essentially, mm. um, and in fact, actually, I think it had me lower initially, but mm. then when I had uh, played a couple of worlds on that lower level, and the game and the game does ask you this a lot, mm. uh, it asks you, oh, how was that for you? Do you want to up the difficulty and or drop go, the difficulty? Okay. Oh yeah, I. Right. Um, they'll just uh, basically ask you that and. You can say, "Oh, yeah, right. yeah, let's up the difficulty," and I've upped the difficulty. And uh, um, yeah, I, I think uh, I think at one point I did put the difficulty back down to when I started, but then immediately, uh, then after the, that work uh, kind of like run, mm. uh, I just put it right back up and, uh, to where where it was before, and I've just kept it at that, Fair enough. you know, twenty three level, I think. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like the the ripest, but and I don't, I don't expect this to be, you know, to make me rip, uh, in any way, shape, shape or form. It, it's, it's to me, it's there to maintain myself, and uh, that's the key point mm. for myself, and uh, and and to have some fun with it as well. And it is generally, I've generally been having some 
a good time with it uh, for the last uh, couple of weeks or so since its launch. So yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend getting it, even if people are concerned whether or not they want. I'll tell you this much: it's better than Labo. <laughs> it's like oh, way yeah. better than Labo because Labo is just useless in my eyes. While this, this is actually beneficial in some aspect. It will actually help, um, you know, help with a, help with a cardio kind of like uh, kind of like level essentially because you know having to run in place and then do these kind of like different kind of like uh, exercise moves um, to progress and whatnot. I feel as though it does, it will add some benefit to um, people who want to help, you know, build up their cardiovascular kind of like uh, mentality and whatnot. So that's just my opinion. But I don't know what you guys could see in that uh, whatsoever. No, I, I mean, I, I need to be honest. It's like I, my routine's been all over the place this year. So I actually started going to a gym at the back end of last year, but that, kind of fell apart because i've been living out of hotels most of this year um no point in having the so, so, membership if you're not using it <laughs> sorry no point in having the membership if you're not going to use it twice oh, oh, oh it, it was a one on one month renewal so it's like i used it for one month and then it's like i haven't been back which is the thing the annoying thing is though i was starting to feel a real benefit hmm. to going to that gym I was, like, I was at three weeks, and it's like, ooh, I'm feeling healthier, yada, yada, yada. But then I've been in and out of hotels for the last nine months, and um, <laughs> it's all yeah, kind of gone, gone, gone down the toilet. Yeah. It, um, I, and, I, used to, well, I used to have a gym like, something like across the road from when I finished work, so mm. like, doing it was easy and beneficial, but now I end up walking like 30 minutes to every day to and – well, every day. Every day I go to work, and it's like, well, that's mm. kind of covering me a lot on – my things and it, it, i don't feel like i don't have the energy left to do extra after that <laughs> it was not as convenient mm. but no, i mean certainly if i'm I mean, i'm now back at home but uh i did invest in a switch this year purely from the perspective of i'm not home a lot i'm going to buy a switch so i can play video games in my hotel room in the evenings when i've not got anything else to do so having something like um the ring fit thing um i might have exercised <laughs> well i mean that's that's the thing because i feel as though that uh that's the benefit of um not only ring fit but also the switch in general mm. because it is a portable machine yeah uh so you can easily take uh, that the ring itself um yeah that might be the more cumbers cumbersome kind of like thing to take with you and whatnot but um uh but i think no, I mean, if you have it in, a, like, a general kind of, like, luggage bag and whatnot. Yeah, um, I, I, I've, I've, I'll tell you what, I always keep a go bag ready to go now, just in case it's like, we want you in this location or that location. Yeah, it's all right, I'm mostly packed already. <laughs> I, I've, I've just got used to that mentality, so, uh, and it's in the lounge, so it's basically, yeah, throw, grab and if go. I had the ring fit, it's like, drop it in the bag and go. Yeah. I mean, the Ring Fit, I, I, I was just uh, comparing the Ring Fit to uh, my laptop there, and mm. it's just a little wider than the laptop that I have just there. Yeah. Uh, so it is quite, a, you know, kind of a little bit bulkier than your typical kind of like uh, laptop and whatnot. But it's still something that could be condensed because obviously you can squeeze it. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure I could fit, fit it into a carry-on suitcase. Yeah. No problem. But... Uh, yeah, I think that 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 is another benefit of it is that you can take it on the go. And granted, uh, what was it? Uh, there is a feature in the game which I haven't tested out yet. Is um, you can while the switch is on sleep mode, you can take the ring con with you that uh, that has the Joy Con connected to it, mm. and you can uh, you could just squeeze the ring con for you know a few at any point in time, and it actually calculates how many times it gets uh, kind of like you know, uh, interacted oh. with. Oh, it keeps track. So, yeah. And then once, uh, when you turn on the the uh, switch again with the game a active and whatnot, it'll actually convert the uh, progress that you did with the ring con uh, outside of the game mm -hmm. and turn it into experience oh. points for your adventure mode. Oh, that's nice. So it's, uh, I haven't incorporated that yet, but um, no, it, it's it's stuff like that that sounds, you know, Good because you can use the ring con outside of game, mm. 
um, to keep, you know, just keep uh, working out your arm strength and stuff like that. Hmm. Um, but uh, no, I, I've been really looking forward to that. But of course, um, it hasn't come out uh, yet because we're recording this just before the end of the month. But at the end of the month, one of the games I'll probably be talking about next month will be Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, being that that's coming out on Halloween. Hmm. And, um, you know, obviously I've been hearing uh, a lot of news stories. There's been some clickbait start, uh, articles that was uh, put out saying, it's like, oh, this is the lowest scoring uh, Luigi's Mansion uh, game from Famitsu, even though it's like only by like one point. Yeah, compared yeah. to other entries, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, but I've I've I'll, I'm looking forward to it. it. From what I've heard, it's another. It's taking the same aspect as um, what was it uh, the sequel uh, like the the previous entry, which was uh, Dark Moon. Mm. Uh, I think it was called. I think it was Dark Moon in the US and just simply called Two in the UK. Mm. And uh, that was like a level by level progression of that, and I feel as though that's. Uh, from the previews, from what I've heard, it's the same deal where it's a level by level. You go up the f- floors of or down the floors of the hotel. I can't remember, but um, uh, but no, I'm looking forward to that. Although, granted, next month's looking quite manic for in terms of releases. Although, granted, yeah, there are a couple of uh, saving graces because uh, what was it that uh, some of the things that was announced for their dates and stuff like that. A lot of this month was the the month of delays or announcing delays for a lot of games. Because uh, you had, uh, what was it, Last of Us uh, Part 2. Oh, yeah. It was initially uh, announced to be coming out in February. This month they announced it was going to be delayed into May, I think it was. Um, Doom Eternal was supposed to be out next month, but that got delayed into March. Um, and that was announced... Uh, during this month so yeah there was a lot of games being announced to be delayed and i'm very thankful for because a i wasn't gonna have much in the way of money f- f- for them and b uh I, it's bad enough i wasn't playing enough games as as it is because i've still got a backlog of games still on my switch that i've yet to touch river city girls uh that one Sen- Kang- Sen- actually two senran kagura games that are on my switch Oh, which uh, is, goes to show you how how shallow I am. Uh, Just having a look at the amount but, of uh, games that come out in November, and it's a ridiculous list. Oh yeah! Oh oh! Next yeah. month is crazy. Well, I mean, and in the middle of it, there's Pokemon. Uh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. You, got, you got the it's PlayStation ridiculous. Four big hit, Death Stranding. You got the new Pokemon game for Nintendo. Shenmue Three. Mm-hmm. If it's Stadia. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, and it's Mario ridiculous. and Sonic for those people that are interested apparently that's been getting a lot of good attention that and I, I'm sure we'll talk I'm sure we will have a lot to discuss about it next uh, I'll have a lot to discuss about it next month because I, that's another game I really want to like properly have a go at I, I uh, have especially... demoed it and uh, it it was pretty solid well there's been the the download demo mm. for it uh but i'm guessing you've played it at uh somewhere else i believe yeah i went to a gaming expo a month or so ago oh. uh, i also i also tried luigi mansion 3 which i'll admit i didn't take too too well because i basically had to be guided around and told what i needed to do oh. by the assistant and they seem to be doing that a lot I'll, I'll freely oh, I'll, I'll freely admit I am a noob when it comes to Louise's mansion, so I don't know the intricacies. But even to me, it seemed like there's a lot you need to know just if you're trying to pick this up. Did it, and... did it seem like it was like at the beginning of the game, or did you see, or was it like part way in? Did it seem like you were meant to have already? Um, closer to the beginning, I'd say. Um, it, it, they must be introducing a lot of elements early on. Um, or uh, but yeah, that, that's my initial impression from it, and it's it's what I took away from it. It's like I had to be guided quite a lot. Also, I'm rubbish at computer games, <laughs> so I, I I I sucked a lot. Okay. But you do have a Hoover, so you do have a Hoover too, <laughs> and Gooigi. 
Your best friend, Guiji. And Guiji. Yeah, Guiji's a nice touch. Superior brother wins again. Mm. Indeed. So, um, I don't know, uh, John, you've been playing much uh, much of uh, Tall? A couple of bits. Well. Um, so, back on the Destiny kick. New Year. My commiserations. Year three. Actually, not bad. It's it's doing like the Destiny 1 thing where it's kind of like getting better, getting better. And this is obviously the first big release without the chain of Activision attached to it. So That's a good, good point. Which has proven that there is now a... Like there is much different in monetization. It's much different in updates. There's... Because they, they did like a vid doc where they like said like we'd love to be able to do things where the tower... Things happen on the tower, like the big hub world are like things change as it's going on but they couldn't because they had to put resources other place like right now in the tower the main hub we're currently building a portal to the vex or some a vex portal which is one of the enemy factions and we're just building it right in the tower which apparently has a lot of osha violations and is perceived by everybody to be a terrible idea putting a portal to the enemy in our home base I can't imagine that. Is it a one-way portal? Um, don't know. It's not open yet. <laughs> we shall. We shall it might have, might have been activated in the tower, but the idea is putting that in the tower. Not a good idea. But I mean, it's they've had. Doesn't strike me. No, nah, but I mean, they, they've That's had weekly idea. updates, weekly changes, weekly. There's new things weekly. So mm. there's always things to do there. I've like I've hit the new, not the proper level cap at nine sixty because that's ridiculous. But the mm. like the basic cap at 950, and I'm working on the artifact, a nice new addition, which basically rewards you for keeping playing and leveling up once you've hit max. So, but no, it's it's still a it's still a very competent game. I'm still enjoying it. The fact that it's now cross uh, save is really nice because I've been playing it more on the PC just casually because it loads mm. about ten times faster. It's ridiculous how much faster it loads on PC compared to console. I, Which console? Uh, so I, so I have it on the main. My main is the three e Xbox One. That's where I've actually mm. bought the Shadow Keep DLC. But I get access because I bought the season pass. I get access to all the season pass stuff, which is all the Vex stuff, on the the PC as well. So it's quite nice for that. So I get some of the content, not all the content on cross save. I'm hoping Bungie do something where it's like you can pay like. Like, if I give you 10 quid, can I get the base download thing that I bought here on here as well? It'd be nice, <laughs> but I'm not. It would, it would be nice because we've had uh, that ha uh, that kind of like practice done before in the, I'm going to say, the Rock Band series where uh, you had a way of like migrating the game, uh, like some of the, uh, like the majority of the Rock Band 1 songs. Yes. That you had for your purchase of uh, uh, Rock Band One into Rock Band Two by using a code. And yeah, and I mean, it, um, it seems like because, like I say, I have the season pass stuff, so I can access. So the the year three update is called Shadow Keep, and the first update is called or the first season is Season of the Undying. So I have the Season of the Undying on both. It's just the Shadow Keep base year three stuff that I don't get. So it seems like they're could be away, should be away, but it's still new. I'm gonna just accept it for what it is at the moment. Well, at least it's at least you're not uh, floundering around like everyone who's trying to play uh, uh, anthem and <laughs> now, because I've I've seen how terrible that is and how how um, how it's been so cheap in uh, the retail market right now. Yeah. It's like it's it's close to like being a like a single digit game it's, it's, now and like being less than 10 quid new. It's not a good way. time to be a live well like what do they call them live service game in, in the current mm. or a new one in the current market anyway. <laughs> or or try to compete with uh, cuz that's what they were advertising Anthem as was a destiny killer. Yeah. And look at it! Look at it now! How dead it is! It killed by its yeah, own. It took, it took the gun it for destiny, pointed it down at its feet, and just 
fired a hole and just kept firing and kept firing until they had to start all well they're gonna have to start all over again oh they there's, have there's to. no way it it's it's garbage it, there's nothing to do <laughs> uh, well. other, other than that uh stardew valley my roommate said my roommate got a switch recently and bought a few games for it stardew valley was one of them they said oh it's on pc picked it up and that has been an addicting game it's kind of it's just farm simulator 2d minecrafty kind of style <laughs> but not mm-hmm. 3d like that's right um like terraria um it, it's no not terraria I, I, isometric view you know it it's basically like a harvest moon kind of thing if you like harvest moon yeah that's what i've yeah. heard of. if you like harvest moon the stardew people got basically got um uh permission to basically homage it <laughs> But yeah, I've, I've had it for like a week and I've put about 20 odd hours into it. It's it's one of those games where it's like, okay, I'm done with the day. Game is saved. I can quit now. But I'm just going to quickly check this and then you just carry on and do another day. Of course. It's one of those ones. Yeah, it is one. It definitely can be one of those ones where you just like, uh, oh, I just want to do that. Oh, wait, it's almost time for this. I need to, you know, just... I'll be like 15 yeah, I'll just, minutes. I'll just check on my crops and do... It's like, I want If I could save it myself, I would love to be able to just kind of, like, wake up for the day, manage my farm, then save, so now I've got the day free when I come back. I don't have to worry about that stuff, but it's just... <laughs> no, it, no, definitely good. So I'll keep that one short and sweet. It's a bit of an older game, so... If it's, worth, it's, not, it's on the cheap, about 10 quid. Worth picking up. If you've missed out on it and think you might enjoy it, very there's a lot to do. Very completionist game. Hmm. Um. I think uh, one last thing I I want to talk about uh, before uh, end stream is one other game that I'm playing for my streams right now. Mm. Uh, part of my uh, ongoing trilogy playthrough of uh, the Doom franchise. I've uh, just started doing Doom Three, and uh, it's the version on Switch, uh, which Originally, I was going to play the PC version, but the PC version, or the PC original version of Doom 3, doesn't support controllers. <laughs> it doesn't support uh, 360 controller uh, oh. or not. So, um, so I was like, ah, crap. So, so I went and just bought the Switch version, which apparently it's uh, based on the BFG uh, edition of the game. So, um, you can, so it's, uh, the most notable thing for that is that you can use a flashlight while using a gun at the same oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and I've heard, and Josh is probably going to go up in arms of me regarding, it's like, no, you should have played the original, Arr! and whatnot. So, but I to, to, to alleviate from that is I'm only going to use, like, the flashlight uh, separately and then the gun separately uh, to try to keep it, you know, in homage to the the aspect of the original game. I'm not going to use the flashlight uh, in conjunction with using my guns uh, at the same time because I feel that that doesn't work out well. And I've been trying to incorporate how it should be from the original, and granted, it's, it's actually not bad. If It's like... The only different, the only downside I think with Doom Three is bec- because they have that gameplay style, or ha- they had that gameplay style, where you were moving, you know, you you were, um, you know, in uh, like they they incorporated a lot more of the kind of like story, the the lore, shall we say, for Doom in this game in Doom Three, and it wasn't beneficial for them. They were trying to be more Half Life. In their presentation for for that sequel, and it, I think that kind of like was their detriment, because as we saw as we saw with the 2016 iteration of Doom, you don't need a good you don't need a story, or if you do need a story, it's not to be the focal point. You're not supposed to have like all these cutscenes and stuff like that. No, it's full on like action here in a way, and you can have cutscenes just like. You know, like interactive cutscenes where it's like quick, not really quick time per se. It was just, you know, just interacting with something in action, you know, 
action will happen. Doom is doom. But uh, with uh, Doom 3, uh, it's uh, it's definitely a lot more cinematic at scope at times. Like, I was going through my playthrough, my first first time playing through it uh, within, a, like, a two-hour window. And I came across, like, what, like, three or four cutscenes in the space of, like, 15, 20 minutes. And it's like, this, that, that's not Doom. <laughs> That's never doom, but uh, but hey, but no, I'm still enjoying it, um, and uh, aim to beat it on my live streams on uh, Twitch TV forward slash Turbo Drive Live. Plug 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 plug. Plug so, plug. Yeah, so there you go. I think that's the only thing. I, I think that's all I can talk about in terms of games. I think. Everyone else got anything else? Um, I've been started playing Unravel. Two, oh. which I got for my birthday. With um, yeah, it's really lovely, really elegant, and it, it's and it's co- cooperative as well. And it's just a really nice, relaxing game. I say, unless you do the challenges, at which point you start <laughs> to slowly go mad as one of the two people start continuously mess up. Is it is it the Portal um, Two um, co-op syndrome where it's like put the portal here? No, put the portal here, right? <laughs> just... No, and no, it's because everything's collaborative, and it's because they're challenges. It's like you got to get everything right, and if you don't get everything right, and you're relying on your per, the other person to get what they need to do right, and then they're relying on what you to get everything right as well. And I'm playing this normally late in the evening. With my girlfriend, we're both tired and we're both messing up regularly. <laughs> so, main gameplay, great. Uh, challenge mode, not great late in the evening <laughs> when you're tired. Uh, yeah, but overall, a lovely game and I want to see how it ends. Um, well, I've played it myself, mm. uh, so look forward to seeing... Uh what you have to say about the ending on that i won't spoil anything right. for you phil but uh, thank you uh, but no. no it's uh, i I've, I've been a, I, i've been a fan of both games i played the original i played mm. uh, the sequel i actually did the sequel uh uh on uh, for tdl tdl let's plays as well so uh, uh like subscribe although <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um well that's that's on the last minute continue uh youtube channel so go subscribe onto that yes but um um uh, but no with uh what was it the sequel the only misfortune that i played it mm. is i played it on my own well, i didn't have a friend a, so at a, least you've got someone yeah to, you can you know, play, play it with. single player if you want to but one of the core mechanics is it, well it's not a core mechanic but because you can play it on your own but it is designed it's fun it's funner people. with a person yeah yeah it, it, so it, yeah i think yeah no uh, you had something else? No, no, I was just going to add, yeah, it's a great collaborative game. Enough said. No, sorry. <laughs> now it's cool. But yeah, we're just uh, going to be ending the show here for now, I think. Uh, I think we've just covered everything that we wanted to talk about uh, for this month. Um, I think it's uh, only fair to say, because we're eating up our one-hour time, time limit here. Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, so for everyone, um, uh, here on last minute, continue cast, uh, I'll just, uh, hand the rail- railings to, uh, each of you to plug whatever you want to talk about. So, uh, Phil, do you have anything, uh, you want to plug for the end of the show? Um, I'm not doing anything specifically at the moment. So go to last minute, continue like subscribe and ring the bell because I'm occasionally there and I occasionally do things when I am available. Yeah. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, fair enough. And, uh, John, yourself? Uh, pretty much exactly the same. Go to Last Minute Continue. Go to Turbo Drive Live. Go to all these people who we are. I don't do anything at the moment, so. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Maybe yeah. in apparently future. These guys, apparently. <laughs> Apparently, these guys don't even have social media, apparently. So you didn't want to plug any of that. There's nothing interesting on any of my social media. Don't, people complain is, about... Is, is that... No, no, I won't say it. No, yeah. But, but people complain about my social media. I like too many things, and Twitter likes to, like, to, likes to show people my likes. 
I was going to leave it at that. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but no, if you are uh, listening to this on the Last Minute Continue uh, podcast feed on iTunes or whatever, be sure to f- pop over to the Last Minute Continue website, which is lastminutecontinue.com, as well as checking out uh, all the kind of like different channels that uh, Last Minute Continue is associated with, where all of us are associated in some way or fashion, like uh, on the Last Minute Continue uh, Come live stream. Come join streams, our Discord. Uh, which you- uh, well, uh, oh, oh yeah, and uh, the last minute continue Discord as well. Um, you can uh, check out the live streams for last minute continue on a Tuesday and the Sunday nights uh, on Twitch.tv forward slash last minute continue, and uh, check out the YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com forward slash last minute continue, where uh, both uh, the last minute continue archive uh, live streams is on there, as well as my Turbo Drive live Let's Play. Uh, live streams is up on there as well so but uh that's all for this month for the last minute continue cast thank you very much for listening i've been john finley that has been phil vijo sims good evening and that has been john shadow fox yep (laughs) yep yeah john i I thought i thought you got already (laughs) (laughs) but uh Thank you very much for uh, listening, guys. Have yourselves uh, a great month, and we'll see you at the end uh, next month for the month of November's uh, Last Minute Continue cast. Who will be joining me next month? Who knows? You'll have to find out. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.